In this tutorial, we are going to use the leaves in the front of this shot to help blend our 3D object using the track map function inside of After Effects. Now, this technique is quite simple and very straightforward. It doesn't require any additional plugins, but let me show you what it does require. The track mat in this shot works because of the clear difference in color between the leaves in the front and the sky in the back. If your foreground and background are similar, or if they hold a lot of detail, this technique simply won't work. So keep that in mind while applying this effect. Let's get started. So here we are, inside After Effects. I've taken the time to create 3D text using Element 3D balloon shapes. Uh, I've toyed around with lighting, I've done some things with Supercomp. A separate tutorial on this will be coming out in a little bit. But for now, I'm going to assume that you have a finished blended product in your background, and this is going to be like the final touch that we do to this. So first, head over to your background, duplicate it, put it on top. And what we're going to do is go over to effects and black and white. There we go. So now the idea is to make the background either completely white or black and have an inverted color for this. And so as the leaves are mostly green, we're going to push these all the way down until they're nice and black. So we're going to do the same for, I think, yellow. Here we are. Nice. Okay, so that's it for the leaves. And so now we move over to the blues. And we're going to amp that up completely. until you have something like this. Wow, very nice result. It's time to shut off our layer and go down to our 3D and make sure that the track mat is fixed. Now, as you can see, nothing is happening and that's because Super Comp kind of screws us up a little bit. So we're just gonna move that one to the top and deactivate it for now. And now, as you can see, okay, so this already looks pretty good. Uh, so now, we have to get rid of this little blurry edge here. And the way to do that is going back to effects and presets, getting a curves, drop that on your background layer. And so the idea is to create more hard edges. And so we're gonna grab the top here, move it up. And we probably need to get a little bit extreme with this. There we go. And so then right afterwards, you pull it down. And find an edge that works for your shot. I'm thinking right around here. Better. So let's just move this up a little bit, see what we got. And okay, this is all right. This is good. This works. So that's pretty much this technique. Very quick, very easy. And that is the end of this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Until the next time.